Hi, it's V with Crafting Daily Dose, and today we're going to talk about how to apply indexing stickers to your stamps. Some stamping up sets are cling stamps, which means that they are made from rubber and they have some foam backing on them, just like this. So here's the stamp itself, and then they are already mounted onto foam that's been pre-cut to the right shape. When you take them out of the package, you're going to have this backing here. You can take that off and discard it if you'd like. You're going to notice that your foam has a nice smooth surface. If you'd like, you can mount that directly onto your clear acrylic blocks and they'll stick for you to be able to stamp. They'll also stick to your Stamparatus positioning tool. But it's often helpful to apply the indexing stickers to the backs of these stamps so that you can more easily distinguish between your stamps and know which direction you're going to be stamping. So I'm going to show you two different methods for applying those stickers and then I'll give you a tip for stamps like this that are round where you can't just use the shape to help you figure out which direction to put the sticker on. In this first method, you're going to peel the backing off of the stamp and then look for the sticker that goes with it. You'll peel the backing off the sticker and then place the stamp on top. Once you peel the stamp up, the sticker will come with it. In this other method, you'll once again peel the backing off of the stamp. This time, you're going to peel the entire sticker off of the sheet and place it on top of your clear block. Now you'll peel the backing off of the sticker and turn the block over. Make sure that your stamp is oriented the right way and then you are going to guide the sticker onto the top of the stamp. Now it's going to be a little bit trickier to put on the indexing sticker for this particular stamp because oftentimes I'm using this shape to guide me, but here since it's just a circle all the way around, that can make it harder to get things lined up. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take a scrap of cardstock just to use this as a straight edge and I'm going to place it so that it goes to the center of my heart both at the top and at the bottom there and holding that in place I'm going to mark the edge of my stamp right where that is and then again down here I'm not marking the rubber but I'm marking this foam here I've used a Sharpie permanent marker here, but you can also use your blends alcohol based markers. I'm just going to double check and make sure that I've got the top at the top. Now I will take my sticker and I'm going to peel it off. And I'll place it onto my acrylic block here because I prefer this method most of the time. I find that it helps me be more accurate. And I'm going to start to peel the backing off, but only halfway. So I'm peeling it just to where the middle of that heart is, and then on this side as well, just to the middle of that heart. And I will temporarily crease this backing here There we go, that looks pretty straight. Now I'll do just like I did before with the other stamps, and I'm going to line up the center line with those guide marks that I had put down before. So it's gonna look like this. And once that's in place, I can go ahead and move the rest of the backing. And now my sticker is on and I know that it's oriented in the right way. The first few times that you use your stamp, that sticker might be quite sticky. So just be careful when you are peeling it back off of the acrylic block. Now, if you're having trouble, the spatula end of your Take Your Pick tool can be really useful. So remember, usually we use this pointy end, but you can unlock it like this by twisting it counterclockwise, and then you pull it out 
and then pull out your spatula end, insert it back in, and then twist it clockwise to secure it in place. And then this can be used to come underneath your stamp, underneath the sticker, and help you get it started so that you can peel it off. Then when you're done using your stamp, you can stick it right back into the stamp case. Turn it this way and it's going to stick to this back surface of the case. Now, I usually keep this negative space that the stamps came out of. It just helps me to have a visual reminder if something is missing so I can look for it before I put everything away. But you don't have to keep this. You can just discard the whole thing and your stamps will stick to the case and stay intact. You can also look from the back side and be able to tell using the stickers which stamp is which, so you can choose the one that you want. If you take away that negative space, then it's helpful to remember that on the front of the stamp case, it gives you a number here that tells you how many stamps are in the set. So you can quickly count to make sure that you have everything and you didn't leave something behind. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this has helped you use your cling stamp sets. I look forward to seeing you the next time and until then, have a great day.